And he's not bad to look at either. <laughs> Gene and Michael, today there is a vast unknown future before you. And that future, with its oh, joys and its sorrows, is hidden from your eyes. But it is a great tribute to your love and faith in one another that you are willing to stand together and face these uncertainties together. Daddy, mommy. Um. Gina and Michael, you are committing here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. And today, this relationship will be symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand. Michael, this one represents you. All that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Gina, this one represents you. All that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And I ask that you now pour these two containers of sand into the empty container. As you do so, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. It is symbolic of the Mommy. fact that just as these grains Mommy. of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your union be. <laughs> forever entwined and forever And it is now time to share in the vows of marriage. So Michael, please answer me this. Do you, Michael, take thee, Gina, to be your lawfully wedded wife? From this day forward, to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish all of the days of your life? I can't Gina, do you take thee, Michael, to be your lawfully wedded husband? From this day forward, to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish all of the days of your life. May we have the rings, please? Hi. From the earliest times, the circle has been a symbol of completeness, a sign of abiding love an unbroken circle that represents a commitment of love that is never ending. These rings symbolize the ties that bind you together as husband and wife. And as often as either of you looks at these rings, I hope you will be reminded of the enduring covenant you made here today to love each other. So Michael, as you place this ring on Gina's finger, please repeat after me. I, Michael, I, Michael. give to you, Gina, <laughs> this ring <laughs> as a sign of my vow to love, to love, honor, honor, and cherish you. Cherish. Gina, as you place this ring on Michael's finger, please repeat after me. I, Gina, give to you, Michael, this ring as a sign of my vow to love, to love, honor, Honor and cherish you. And cherish you. By the love with which these rings were just given and received, may they be blessed. As I told you all earlier, you all have a very special responsibility as witnesses to this gathering. They chose to have an intimate gathering of family and friends for this wonderful occasion so they could feel the love and presence of those around them that love them the way that you do. They wanted to feel your presence, so I now invite you all, as members of this gathering, to verbally share in your declaration of support for this couple by answering we will to the following question. Will each of you do everything you can to love, support, and care for these two people in their marriage? Well, I encourage you all to always choose love in your thoughts about and in your interactions with Gina and Michael. Stand beside them and never between them, and come to them with hearts of peace and not judgment. Show them your kindness, your support, and your loving heart. And it is on their behalf that I thank all of you. Let us pray. Dearest God, I ask that you bless and sanctify this union. May these two souls, now married, be to each other a blessing and a comfort. May they, trusting in the strength of their union, face life unafraid, supporting and encouraging each other in whatever they set out to achieve. 
and may they continue to love each other always. Amen. Amen. Michael and Gina, having witnessed your vows of love and faith to each other, by the power vested in me, it is my joy and my personal privilege to pronounce you husband and wife, which means you may not kiss your bride. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one last surprise. Gina's mom, Sharon, shared with me that since Gina was a little girl, she has always been fond of butterflies and always dreamed of butterflies at her wedding. And as your mother who I loves you very mommy. much, she wanted to make sure that all of your dreams came true. Ooh. So Sharon, if you will now share your surprise.